today we're going to be taking a look at the SEMA X500. <clears throat> there it is in the box. Let's get the box open. Look at that. Beautiful case it comes in. Very nice. That's why I didn't do the cutaway of opening the box and then all the stuff being there. That's why I did it that way so you could see the nice case reveal. We want to thank SEMA for sending this out to me so we can get a look at it. There it is. Here is the transmitter. She gets stuck in there. This thing holds it pretty good in the case. Sits in there real nice. Now this thing has a really nice feel to it. It's one of them, you know, where it's plastic, but it feels like rubber. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. Folds it open like this. Battery goes in here. There's a little pin right there to lock it. Comes with two batteries. They are 1700s. 7.6 1700s. There's two of them. Here's the transmitter. There's your power button there. Your video, photo, and your gimbal up and down. Your little handles right there. That opens up to hold the phone. Here's your return to home, take off and landing, and then that's most likely a headless mode type button because it has the little compass directions on there. There's where you charge it, it has its own built-in battery. There's the charge port right there. So, And then uh, back it's got this little Wi-Fi antenna gadget. You lift that up. It's going to give you a little bit better reception. The antenna is inside of here. So that's how that works. Let me show you these accessories. In this bag, you got your extra battery. In this bag, we have your charger. And the old trusty screwdriver that you always get. <laughs> we all love that. Now to charge the battery, it's very simple. You just hold it this, put this on here like that and slide it right in there like that. Very easy, easy, easy. Now, I'm going to show you real quick. You plug the battery in. There's going to be a red light on there. And when, the, when it's charging the battery, these are already charged. I charge them already. It'll flash green when it's charging. And when it's done charging, that green flashing will stop. Okay. Here's another bag. And that has your prop guards on there. And your spare props. That's all inside of there. The prop guards just fit in here like this. See that? How they go in there? Right there. The hole's right there. And you just squeeze them in there. Like that. And just pull them apart. They're just press fit. That's all. Just press fit. Right there is the camera. It has a little motorized gimbal. It's not really a gimbal, but it's a motorized uh, actuator there for the camera to go up and down. There's a couple of lights there on the front. There's your micro SD card slot right there. See it? Right there. Probably going to be easier to get that in there if you take the battery out. Then it'll probably be easier to slide that in there. Which I think I'm going to slide one in there right this second. Goes in there with the label up. And it is spring-loaded, 
So there's your bottom camera right there. Looks good. There's the front again. Looks like a grasshopper. <laughs> okay, so we got that. We'll get this out of the way. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's more stuff in here. Let me get this stuff out of here. And we'll move that case off to the side. You got your your battery care manual right here. Some stickers. Tells you about the charging cable. Here's your instruction manual. It's laid out really nice. I mean, it's got everything in here you need. All your precautions and everything. There's a cable to charge the controller. And then in here is extra, like these little, it has these little rubber feet that go right here. But just in case you lose some of them, you got an extra ones right in there. There's four of them in there, so you got two spare sets of those things. So let's turn it on real quick. Turn on the quadcopter. Turn on the transmitter. Bind it up. And then to level calibration, I think it's down. There it goes. Down and to the left. You saw the lights flashing. And then to arm the motors. Hold on. I'm going to move this paper because you know what's going to happen if I don't, right? And then to arm the motors, you would come down and in, like so. Now, I'm not going to take off right here, because it'll hit me in the face. So, and then just pull down on the stick to disarm the motor, that's all. That way to arm the motor, that way to disarm the motor, straight down. Easy stuff. Now, let's get the Wi-Fi hooked up. Okay, the Wi-Fi is called X34K, and I'm going to see if you see it right there, and it's not password protected, so we're going to hit that. And then the app is going to be the SEMA Air app. Uh, there's a QR code in the manual for it. It's telling you how to do the compass calibration which I'll do that when we get it out to the field so there it is right there is the camera let's see if the uh, buttons work on there to go up and down with the gimbal motor there it goes you see it moving Okay, it works. There's the lights in the front. So it's all good. Here's the app. Let's see if I see anything spectacular about the app. Here's the speed setting right there. Here's your photo and video. Um, over here is your circle flight right here. And here's your point of interest. Or not your point of interest, your waypoints. Here's your gallery, I guess, up here. Yep, nothing's in there yet. There's your settings. And you can move the gimbal up and down in the app, too, with this little slider right here. That'll move the gimbal up and down also. But I'm just not sure how to switch it to the bottom camera. There it is right there. Okay. There's the button for the bottom camera. Now, from what I remember with this other SEMA model that they came out, that little one that looked like a spark, I think it was called the W1, you could not do on-the-fly recording. You had to stop the video to switch to the bottom camera. So when I'm do shooting the video, I'll stop the video, switch to the bottom camera, and then we'll just go, go from there. All right, guys, there you go. Looks good. Let's get out and fly it. All right, guys, I just wanted to add this little spot on here. I forgot to put in there. 
the weight is 206 grams without the prop guards. So even with the prop guards that are all four of them only weigh eight grams. So you're going to be under the limit even with the prop guards on. So I just wanted to throw that in there. As we are out here with the SEMA X500. As you see it right there. And we are going to take it for a little flight. Because we want to see how it flies. <clears throat> Let's, um, first things first. Let me get it into video mode. And I got the micro SD card in there. There's how you change the speed. And we're going to take off in the higher rate. So let's take off and just fly it around a little bit to get the feel of it because I haven't flown it yet. Home point is confirmed. Let's check our map. Okay, so it it knows it. Okay, let me see how many satellites we got so far. Says we got 12. Okay, we got it in the high rate. It is wandering a bit. Ooh, it's wandering a lot. Whoa. Wow, let's uh, okay, go. so that needs another compass caliber. You see all that? That's that's toilet bowling in a bad way, okay? So let's go do uh, let's cut the video out. Now I actually did one of those before I started it, but we're just going to have to do another one. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to prepare. Let's do the level calibration again. Okay, calibration success. Okay, so let's go back to the video mode. And start some video again. You know, sometimes you got to calibrate these things more than once. Okay, so let's uh, try to take off and see what happens this time. Wow, no, it's not much better. It says I have 14 satellites. Okay, let's go out here and wow. Man, I'm telling you, I don't know about this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up with you right now. Let me do a circle mode try here
it's doing it. Okay, from what I remember about the other one, the W1, you can raise and lower the altitude and it'll still do the... It just very... It's very floaty, you know what I mean? It has that, like that aircraft carrier handling, you know? It just... Okay, let me go out here for a little... It just is all over the place. Yeah, if you just let go of the sticks and just leave it go, it'll settle down and stay there. But if you try to like just fly it around, it just There's a bird coming after the seam uh. see if I can get any as soon as you start to fly it it starts immediately veering off to the right And you see how it's bomb, bomb, jumping around there? I'm not impressed. Not at all. Okay, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to go to the bottom camera. There's the bottom camera. I'll put some video of the bottom camera in there. There's a bird up there messing with it. Still. Still flying around it. But, um, okay, well, I'm going to stop that bottom camera video because that's not that good anyway. So we're going to go back to the frontal camera. Now, it'll just sit up there. It's, it's, that part's okay. It's the flying it around part that's not that good. <laughs> Well, I can tell you guys without any doubt that the W1 is way better than this thing. Way better. I mean, this thing is all over the place as far as the steering. I mean, it handles like an aircraft carrier. Okay, so... I mean, look at, oh God. Uh, I wish there was a way to turn this damn GPS off.
to be honest with you. Maybe there is a way. Maybe I do like this. So hold on. Let's see what that does. Look at that. I mean, this thing is just... Uh, you know, I just hate these kind of car covers. When they're this bad, it, you really hate it. How about the waypoints? It's a little breezy out here, but it ain't that bad, okay? I've seen a lot worse. Okay, let's just do a quick waypoint, like to here, and to here, and to here. Well, it's doing it, but, you know, so the waypoint worked. You should have been able to see it on the screen. Look how it, yeah, you see how it just, I mean, I know it's lightweight, but it shouldn't. It's, it's like a boat. Just like I said, it's like a boat. Trying to steer a boat. That's exactly what it reminds me of. That's why I always use that <laughs> aircraft carrier terminology. That's what it steers like. It steers like a boat. You see how, how, how it started to go off to the right, right away? No, it's not good, guys. It's bad. No! Okay, it just... Let me see how much battery I got left. A lot. I, I'm, t I'm done with this thing. I'm tired of it. I only have X amount of patience for this kind of stuff. Where's the landing? Yeah, here it is. Whoa! It's so... the lag in the... Oh, this ain't a DJI product I forgot. Okay, so it's not gonna uh, get out of here with that. Okay, guys. Sorry, SEMA. This is a real piece of garbage. Go back to the drawing board on this thing. Maybe put in some brushless motors. But you really need to work out this GPS on here. Because this is the positioning on this thing. And this, it's just crapola. Alright guys, there you go. SEMA X500. It's a real piece of crap. Talk to you later.